everyone. Hi, it's me, Jeff Gerstman. <clears throat> Clearing my throat into the microphone like a professional. Um, we've got, I got some stuff. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, here's a, some, some mail, like a mailbag time kind of, th I don't have a good song. I don't have a good, um, I don't have a good mailbag theme song. Um, you know, just envision the blues clues mail here, uh, because that's with the amount of blues clues that has been watched in this house over the past year, um, has permanently etched that into my brain. So, uh, there you have it. I'd never seen it before, but, but here you go. One is, uh, one came from the PO box, um, and is, uh, and, and looks like it's some drinks according to the customs declaration. So some, some foreign drinks. Um, this first one here though, I just, you know, I, I'm not normally the sort of person, um, that gets all excited about, um, you know, the kind of PR send out like, Hey, we made some stuff to, to go along with the release of our game and, and all that sort of thing. It's usually, you know, at, at this point, just to, all I want from a game company is just a, a code for the game. And, and, you know, I don't, I don't need. Uh, ill-fitting t-shirts and i it, they don't do ill-fitting t-shirts as much as they used to actually now that i think about it uh there used to just be it was a, just a run of um really low rent t-shirts with logos of games on them um i still have more than i should and I, I donated a bunch of them to the uh video game history foundation and um anyway um they made another run of, of Finji. This this came addressed to uh, enjoyyourgaming.com and um uh I I believe one uh uh wasn't Harold Forrest sent this along um uh, along with the the other stuff Finji. This is uh, they made more of these this is for tunic um and um if you've played tunic out on other platforms now so that's why they did another run of them uh, a big part of tunic is the manual for the game um that appears to be that appears to be the only thing in here actually i'm gonna just look oh there's some stuff down there whoa, whoa. Oh, well now it's near mint and now and i just thought it was so cool that they made um some some actual real versions of this of this manual um it's a, it's, uh, it's a little, it's a little different, uh, because this one is, uh, got some, some little bits in the front about like, Hey, uh, here's your, you know, some of these originally had a game key in them and, and now it says, please check your email. <laughs> um, and, uh, but there's, yeah, this is really nice. It doesn't, doesn't smell. Ooh. I don't know, it smells, it smells like trees almost, which is weird when you think about it. Um, but you know, the, the manual and, and the kind of fake language and the, the loosely translated stuff that is, uh, the part of, part of Tunic's gameplay. Um, and, and you, you know, you see that, oh, this is okay. So they redid the controls section because it's, you know, cause it's, it's out on switch now, I guess. Um, and, and PlayStation, um, and okay. Well, here's a, hmm. there's a note in the back here, which, yeah, it's been just long enough. I, I'm, I'm wait, I want to play Tunic again, but there's a thing and I won't get into it in case you haven't played Tunic. You should play Tunic. Um, and, uh, there's, there's, there are aspects of that game that once you've played it once, it's hard to immediately go back to it because there are just aspects of the game that you know about that change a lot of things about that game and the order in which you can do things and, and all that sort of stuff. And I, it's one of those games you want to just like wait another year or so and, and play it again. Like I, I, I want to play tunic again. Um, I had a really great time with it. Um, and, uh, but, but I think there's still just a few too many little, things about that world that I remember, uh, that I would, that when I, when I tried to play it, cause I, I, I dove right back in thinking like, Oh, I'll get some achievements. I'll play the Xbox version now and, and get some achievements or, or whatever. Cause I played it on steam originally. And, um, you get lost fast 
because you know too much and you're suddenly in parts of the world and you're like, I don't remember what order you're like, I, I made it this far. I made it into this deep part of the game without ever finding the shield. And that's bad. I could really use a shield right about now, but I don't remember where the shield is or what the normal path through this game even is anymore because you can just sequence break left and right. Once you, you know, know things about that game. And, um, and which is fascinating, but it also meant that like, I just, I got lost. Like I had no idea how to proceed playing that game over from the beginning, which is fascinating in and of itself. Um, but, but yeah, you know, so I, I kind of want to wait a while and, and give it another look. I don't know what else is other. Okay. So oh, there's okay. other nice little things here. A little pin, a little pin. Um, a notebook for keeping notes. It is it is a note kind of game. So I, that oh oh hey look at that look at a little guy here. That's cool. Um, and a nice a nice notebook for keeping notes. Which I I uh, I just typed my notes into like Notepad and and I just had a, a file going for a while. Honestly, um, that worked out for me when I was playing. Is this a poster? Oh, it's the map. That's cool. The overworld map that's pretty neat yeah that's uh this is both this is useful in ways that you when you first look upon it it is, it is yeah the, the i mean the map's all in game too which is cool. oh, some fun stickers my daughter's big into stickers uh these days i uh but i am the sort of person who never stuck stickers because um you know i could never find anything that it felt like it was worthy of, of, you know, the, of getting stuck on, you know what I mean? Another cool pin. I say, oh, okay. There's a, there's a single puzzle piece in here. That appears to be an edge piece here. I wonder if they're expecting people that received these to be able to come together and, uh, and form the puzzle, which, um, I have my doubts about that happening. Um, there was something for, what was that? Um, for in, inside, there was one of the, the stuff they sent out for inside had some kind of secret, secret ARG thing in it. And I remember we were getting contacted by someone that was trying to solve that because they were like, we need the number off the back of this thing. And you're weird, you know? Weird fleshlight, whatever the heck it, you know, creepy ass game. Um, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks to Harold and, and Finji for, you know, for everyone at Finji for sending. I, that's, I just, I love that game and, and that manual was cool. I'm, I'm glad to see one up close. Now it's on to the drinks. I opened this from the bottom, so if there's a note in it, we'll see it last. I believe this is from this is a uh, from an AP an APO an Air Force Express. Um, I believe this is Korean in nature. Sure enough, uh, oh man, this is really well packaged. Kudos. This is this is like sixteen. There's like. There's a lot of okay. I need to tear open. Time to stop screwing around. Hot six or hot G, the king power. This looks good. It's got maca, caffeine, chlorine, and L carnitine, which is that's a cla that's a classic energy drink uh, inclusion. I haven't had a lot of energy drinks because I've been sick. Here's the King Zero. Cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, kimchi energy. <laughs> Wait. Kimchi energy, strawberry flavor. I don't know what to make of that. That's, that's a very tiny can also. Uh, which is good because if it tastes like kimchi, there's a, this is a, this is a sugar-free Red Bull, but with um, Korean on it. Um, cool. It's been a while since I've had a sugar-free Red Bull. I assume that it is the same, but I don't actually know. Um, 
Oh, here's a regular, a regular Red Bull. I am much more familiar with a regular Red Bull and how it tastes, but this says this is a hundred percent something, hundred percent mountain. I don't know what we're, um, I don't know what, what's going on with that, but, uh, but that's pretty sweet. Um, This just says sparkling and 500 and C. Oh, this says Quang Dong up at the top of it. Some of that Quang Dong for you. Um, and I assume it is some kind of vitamin C beverage uh, by the prevalence of the letter C on it. Uh, 1250 milligrams of vitamin C, I'm going to go ahead and say. And it is sparkling. This looks good. Look at the bubbles on it. This, this, that's a good looking drink right there. Quang Dong. Give me some of that Quang Dong. Korean zombie. Oh. That's a cool looking. I'm not really sure what to make of this. This uh BCAA. So you know it's it's got that blockchain amino acids up in it. Uh, here's another, the King force. Oh, huh. this, I, I need a, I, I, well, I have my shelves over here. I can keep these on the shelves and refrigerate them one at a time. Here's another Korean zombie, uh, variant. Korean zombie. You wouldn't associate the word zombie with an energy drink. Oh, I guess, you know, you'd be like, oh, I'm tired like a zombie. Well, drink this. If you're a Korean zombie. The King Rush. That looks good. All right, cool. Ah, okay. Here's the note. It's a, it's a Pac Man. All right, uh, Mr. Gamesman, uh, please enjoy these cans of Totally Not Poison from South Korea. If you ever need a uh, SoCo MMORPG correspondent, give me a yell from Nullscan. Great. And uh, there's, a Twitch, there's a Twitch URL here that uh, is this a null R&B scroll? Is that... Hmm. I can't tell if this is like, like the texture on this paper is weird in a way that is making my eyes wig out, but also that is, a, is the handwriting bad or are my eyes bad? The answer is probably my eyes are not good because this is not written small, but I'm still just like a will and skull. It's from Nullscan. So, uh, so thank you very much for that. Sweet. I was going to, I was going to give a shout out to your Twitch channel. But it uh, did not happen this time. Let's see. We got some bigger cans here. Monster Ultra Citra. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. It says that's a smaller than your typical monster can, but bigger than. Well, it's the same as these. Uh, these. Uh, the king. A king. Another monster. This is sweet. I'm looking forward to checking this out, uh, you know, seeing, especially these ones. Okay, this one, uh, the pipe, oh, this is Pipeline Punch. I assume it just tastes like Pipeline Punch, but it's a fancy, small Korean can, which is pretty cool. I remember liking Pipeline Punch. It's been a while. Some of these will get ranked and some of them won't, I think, because I, I think some, you know, the, the list, I think we're going to keep the list to, you know, low slash no calorie drinks and, um, you know, so so some of these will probably qualify, but some probably will not. Also, I have not had a lot of um, energy. It's, today is the first day I've had an energy drink um, since I got COVID. And um, now that I'm seemingly, I mean, I mean, everyone is still runny nose, stuffy nose, like all that sort of stuff. But, you know, we're testing negative and it's been 10 plus days, which is what the CDC, I don't know, it's a whole I don't want to get into it. 
Um, but, you know, it seems like we're on the other side of it, um, other than me occasionally just suddenly being very tired and out of breath. But hey, what are you going to do? This is a Mango Loco monster. Very cool. A three more here. I should just get a knife and keep it in here. I used to have one. Ultra Paradise. Ultra Paradise, I believe, is already on the list. But I wonder if this is any different. I wonder if it's like, uh, if there's any difference in the formulation. Um, or if this is the exact same stuff. I'm going to guess it's the exact same stuff. But All right. And our last two here. Oh, this is another one of those uh, Quang Dongs. This one's not sparkling from the looks of things. Uh, 1,200 milligrams of C. Maybe some B. Which is, you know, yeah, you're going to put v B vitamins in an energy drink. That's how they do. And I guess another hot, is it, I'm going to say, is, is this hot G or is it hot six? Looks like it's probably hot G. Well, I guess this is, this is an extension of the T going over here and around the bend. If you look at it, um, hmm. Is it written in any other font anywhere on here in English? I don't see it. Very exciting. Null scan. Thank you very much for all of these drinks and sending them from a faraway land such as South Korea. Uh, that's, that's super exciting. I, I can't wait to get into this stuff. Um, and I don't know where I'll start quite yet. Probably with one of these, the Kings, because it's the King force, um, or something like that. We'll get these cold. Well, we'll get a couple of them cold. I don't have, I don't have the kind of fridge space to just dump 16 South Korean energy drinks into it. Um, but you know, we'll put a few in there at a time and, and make our way through them. I still have, uh, a, a, quite a selection of, uh, Puerto Rican energy drinks, to make my way through as well. Um, yeah, we've, you know, we, we have been hashtag building the list of, of energy drinks. And now that I'm on the uh, other side of this illness, I need to figure out if my taste buds are the same. The, the watermelon monster I drank today seemed like it was all on the up and up and food is generally tasting. Okay. Um, these days, there was a few very strange, very scary days where everything was tasting like nothing or poison, which is great. Um, what a weird thing. What a weird thing. Um, uh, anyway, that, that's, that's it for the, the mailbag. Um, I norm, norm, the right thing to do here would be to put the address on screen, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's, uh, if you go to the Twitch page, it is printed there, and uh, I don't have it on. I don't know if it's on the YouTube page. I don't think it's on the YouTube about this channel page. It probably should be. Probably should be a lot of places. A lot of things should probably be a lot of places. Check out my link tree that I never link to. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, that's that's what's came in. That's what's came in the mail today. Here on Monday, the uh, the third of October. Um, so, you know, podcast will be tomorrow podcast on Tuesday and, uh, and we'll see if I can, if I can talk for three hours straight here. And, uh, and then next week, I believe we have a guest. Very exciting. So, um, lined that up today. Very cool. Anyway, that's going to do it for me here for today, Monday. Uh, I'm going to clean this stuff up before my daughter comes in here and starts eating all these plastic bags and actually my son is, is getting in a phase where he likes to put stuff in his mouth and we tried to eat a crayon today and it's a whole thing anyway um enjoy your gaming and so on and so forth hey, hang on have a enjoy your gaming great great everyone have a good one and i will see you tomorrow for the podcast